What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to run off of the last time, um, the Ottoman Empire blitzed through northern Italy and everyone's now rebelling against their Ottoman overlords. So our job is to take it back. And this is the second time I've tried to record this part because I've had issues with in-game battle sounds. So they've not been making noises. I mean, by the looks of it, I've not. But well, by the looks of it, it was previously fixed. But now it has not been fixed because it didn't do the... But we'll soon find out. No, it's okay. So to put my city uphill. The frustrating thing is, now because I've had to restart this battle, I now know where they where some of their armies are, some of their units are. To plant the pikes. In guard mode, units quiet you. goes out to the edge of the woods and let's just bring my infantry over here my cavalry over there for example for no specific reason let's do an experiment so right now these guys fire so if we speed up time Has that messed it up somehow? Nope. We can hit this. No, it all seems okay. Okay, general's coming. But not to play. Advance these guys up. So their cavalry is advancing to respond to my cavalry. Oh no, they've pulled back. Huh, you can actually order people via campaign map. That's one unit of Azars. More Azars. So I'm going to get my cavalry in on the flank. These devils need to be killed. Okay, let's take these guys. Begin to form a main battle line where these these, these companies will now form our flank. Taking it nice and steady. <clears throat> you don't know when the well, like this. And the cavalry is just going to be unleashed. So you guys drop into square. Actually, it's more like you guys, actually. You can stay out of square. You can continue to march onwards. Come on, cavalry. Stop pounding them. So they're shattered so they can carry on. Actually, no. One of you stay behind and kill them. You go over and kill them. Battle lines are engaging. Good job there, Janissaries. They only have poor musket drills. Get 
you guys out of square and then get you guys from the line. Uh oh, that's not good. Yep, the sound decided to stop working. I've no idea why it's doing why it's doing that. Only partially. Because these guys should be drilling and shouting and going, ha, ready. It's a mightily frustrating sound load. So you guys charge in. Start to bring the cavalry back. They've routed, so bring in our infantry. Is their main line and the main point of effort so let's hope they stay just out of range for a couple of like I'm hearing like scattered musket shots but will these guys even fire with okay so like a partial failure on the sound system Form square because the Zimandari horsemen are coming right for you. Pivot our guns to hit that unit of grenadiers. Yeah, you guys just, just charge them if they want to be silly. Push around the flank. Where's my other cavalry okay, going? Okay. Bring these guys back in at high speed, not to kill, not to kill these Muslim units. We want to kill their general units. Well, general units. We want to kill their. Um, the, uh, the grenadier units, that's what we want to kill. So everyone's running in, which looks like this battle's going to be over soon. So some janissaries have come back. Oh no, they're going to take a brunt of a cavalry charge. Blech. Chase into this unit, charge into this unit. Should do a grand job. No more. More janissaries are charging in, so we really just need to fold in this flank, get some support. The general, run over here. This is a Mandari horseman, so it's provincial line cannot form square. But you can, quick. Some of them have been caught, but if they can run to the far side of this square. Yep, it's understandable you guys are afraid. You guys need to not fire at will. So I want these Zimandari horsemen to bash into this square formation. Good. The pikes want to continue on into the musketeers. Oh, you guys go to them, you guys go to them, you guys go to them. The cavalry continue to try to chase them down to kill them. Actually, over here would be better. And let's speed up time because everyone's going to die, including my own men. Continue chase down. Okay, now my now it started to work. Now the sound effects have started to pick up again. That's very, 
very peculiar issue. So killed a few Janissary Grenadier units. A couple of guys behind us that are going to rout these guys. There's no point chasing after them because they're going to rout. So you may as well come after. There we go. Decisive victory. All war is deception, Sun Tzu. Awesome. So you lost 500 men and we killed 2,000 of theirs. So they've been pushed back. Sad. We actually, yeah. I was going to say we might not better close down and kill them. But yes, we can close down and kill them. Because these chaps aren't going to be too... too much for us to handle. Especially if I keep... merging units like this. It's the cheapest way to maintain at least a more complete size of army. Provincial Alliance, got anything about you. So at least my army is still at reasonable strength. We're going to get, not going to get a bit of cash next turn, so let's try to get some repairs going. Fortunately, we have Naples tax income, which is lovely. Soon to have this another trade port open at Taranto. Bologna has been damaged. But, hopefully, that means things might have stabilised somewhat. But we'll soon see about that. One thing I do need to do is give Venice um, a load of military tech. Because if I want Venice to be alive to hold off the, to hold off the Ottoman Empire, then, naturally, I want them to be as strong as they, as they possibly can be. Else I am doomed. Fortunately, they've got a good sized garrison there, but will that garrison alone be enough to hold them? I don't know. Whereas square formation and caster shot might help. Don't want to give them fire by rank because they might trade that away irresponsibly. Genoese are being annoying as per usual, but fortunately, they're only raiding a building that was already damaged. So they've made it a bit more expensive to repair, but no, no game changes. Good, so we've got tra another trade port open. Can we open up any new avenues? You stop trading with us for various reasons. Good, so we're trading with Sweden again. Trade agreement and ring bayonet, maybe? Nope, keep, keep wanting to say no. I might be able to get true, I might make peace with Spain. I was hoping they they would they would we could make peace because I don't I no longer have Lombardy so I can't you know give it back. Way French rake. You go try take out their rake. My guy. They can't get out. Okay. That is so frustrating. Wait a minute. What the hell happened there? I didn't even know you could do that. So let's set this army to... I can't. I don't want to set them to repair. I want to repair the college to get my research still going. Set you guys to replenish with whatever's left and then go and attack these Genoese dogs. I mean, granted, all they've done is um, rebel, form their own kingdom, and so on. But that doesn't that doesn't wash with me, I'm afraid, buddy -o. Oh yes, look at this for a position. So slightly weak unit on the right. Actually, I can make you. 
There you go, give you four units. Good. Give these guys a good strong three units. God, that cart. Those carts are the bane of my life in this game. Okay, deploy. Deploy a bit further back. Infantry in support here. Pikes in the centre behind the guns. Cavalry. I should group them together because they're fairly weak. General in the centre. For the, go for the foot artillery. Although, to be honest, because we attack them, they're probably going to want us to, to advance up to them, which is fair enough. Especially your artillery is not in limbering the fools. And you've only got militia. Lots of calf, which we will deal with with our square formations. So that that time it wasn't a sound bug. It's just well, it was a bug, but it wasn't like a catastrophic game-ending one, sound-ending one like before. Because we can still hear all the drummers around drumming. knock these guys into a separate group. Let's let them form up into line formation. We'll form up, form up into my line. And then we can start to advance forward carefully. Carefully, exactly. Let's get the artillery to pound the Dragoon unit because we're going to be advancing and Sweeping their gunners away from their guns in in very little time. I might put my pikes further to the right. Grenadiers can stay in position in position almost in the centre. Cavalry move over to the right. Yep, so there. Okay, their cavalry has been unleashed, so Drop these guys into square formation. You can't form square formation, but they can. So you run in to cover them. Get the grenadiers involved. I might have to get rid of that provincial line infantry unit because it's causing too, so many problems not being able to... not being able to get them into safe positions you know oh just to go to square formation nope can't do that they think they can't let's run our line Pull my cavalry back because they're being sniped by carabiners. Let's run my infantry. Let's bring our grenadiers into the line. Run my pikes up to give them some support. Get my artillery to focus onto them. Cavalry into the mix. Let's hit the carabiners. So right now our brave our musket shots are lashing their gun crews. There we go. Carabiners now start to get shot to bits by my guys. 
hit their carabiners with my regiment of horse. That should be enough. These guys form square. Where you will deal with that regiment of horse unit admirably. You guys can stay. You guys can get into line. These guys can stay in square formation. That's them routed. The general's been killed. I'm not sure where. Probably over here somewhere. Okay, these guys get out of square formation. Immediately charge up to go and kill their general unit. Not the general unit. You know, get involved in the cavalry fight. Retarget my artillery. As the dragoon is gone. On the mighty second regiment of foot, in you get. And these guys are going to have a torrid time when all my infantry gets in position. Absolutely torrid. Present. Well, they're all forming up. So their army is by and large going to live to fight another day because I'm just going to let them let them flee. Well, that's not their full artillery team though. Has someone come back? Oh, God alive. Oh, cavalry's come back as well. I thought they'd all retreated, retreated. Set everyone else just to charge into the, the militia themselves. Stop the artillery from firing. And then let's speed up time a little bit. Because right now everyone's just. Everyone's going to burn a charge. This militia unit as they come cresting over the hill. Smash into the swine. Look at them, they're steady. But then our pikes have come in from the flank. 184, 150, 160, 140. Yeah. Heroic victory with the remnants of our forces. What we have left lost 200 men, driven them back. Probably going to just carry on and kill them. Nah, we cannot. But we're ready. Our rake is going to kill them. They have no actual troops. The rebels are holding on to the town, and the Ottomans don't really have much of a force to the east, to the west. Sorry. So that's not too terrible. Oh, I didn't do my plan to help the Venetians. I do need to build up my navy. I do need to do that, most definitely. Because having a strong navy would have helped a lot. But it means I have to... Well, all it means is I have to burn more in turns to keep my... Look at that. What's the most frustrating thing they could have done? Run around and attack my port. And I can't even kill them by taking over Genoa because they've got their island in Corsica. So we only got 2,000 that turn. We're gonna get 2,000 this turn, but let's take you guys. Kill them. Let's bring the army more up here. Let's repair this. Let's take my weak unit of infantry. They can occupy the port. You guys, you'll take all my money to replenish all of you. Let's replenish the most complete units first. So my agent isn't great, but is he enough to kill 
this French agent. Let's find out. Oh, he's just out of range. Okay, so what shall we do? A thousand, a thousand cash. I think heavy privateer might be good. Or well, privateer, at least. Got a fifth, so let's go knock out this light galley. Sink it. Good. Put them under repairs because it doesn't take much. Diplomacy. So Venice isn't at war with the Ottomans, I would I suppose. Oh, they are at war. Okay. Offer plug bayonet canister shot. Square formation. Give me five grand and we'll call it even. Okay, tech. I should give them plug bayonets because plug bayonets can get them Swiss infantry. Damn. They probably don't have any money. They don't have any tech I want either. So, go on, France. Let's peace out. Alright. Everything is slowly going to start getting better. You managed to withstand the gut punch of the Ottomans, but thankfully our trade agreements or our trade route with Venice is over land, so they can't intercede with that. I'd like to think... Well, I would like to send an army over to... That's not good. I would like to send an army over to the North Africa, North African coast, to go and knock out their ships. Okay, it looks like they might be trying to have another crack, the Ottomans. But if they are, that's okay, because they've not actually got... Um, I've not got enemies on all fronts anymore. And this is actually... This fleet's actually getting fairly weak. So let's take my privateer out to clear the way. So I successfully managed to sink that ship. And then let's take my fifth rate to go and clear the way. Oh, there's a new ship. Yep. So sunk both of them. Let's send my privateer down to start trying to raid. Nope, the Dutch have already beaten me to it. They've got some flutes. Flute. Good. I can raid their shipyard here. Then go back to Syracuse. But I am going to want a fifth ray and probably another privateer. Or. Siamo pronti. Do I rebuild? Okay, do I average yield, high yield, low yield? Repair this vineyard, even though it's not the highest yield. Some of these units are already up to re for replenishment, so let's make sure I can... Well, let's pick a few units that I can totally replenish with my cash. I have six left in the bank. And I'm tempted to move to put... Genoa under siege. Well, I mean, I didn't really want to attack Milan, but I suppose I... Genoa is worth so much more. So move to go put Genoa under siege, but not to attack. A one in five chance of killing him. No! Don't execute my agent. My agent's fine. Okay, so you are now researching steam pumps, which aren't really that useful for me. Let's instead go for Italianism. Government by consent. Increased tech research rate and increased town wealth. There's two double whammies that would be very useful for us. Okay, let's hit end turn. I'd very much like to knock the 
Barbary states out of the picture completely because they're not really they're not well, they're not helping me at all and they're they're, they're protectorates of the Ottoman Empire so they'll never intercede with their shipping okay so they're bringing their ships they're bringing they're bringing their armies back So we need to keep building our fleets. It does not help that the Barbary states keep sending trickle, like, um, they keep trickling ships into our ports, especially as they're not good ones that we can capture. Although I will, if I do get a chance to capture them, I actually will. Like, I may as well take them into our service. I'll actually send it on a little mission. See if the Dutch are still here. Yep. See if they're still in this port. Oh, I might actually just stay in it. And just keep... Keep it blockaded. Good, so they've replenished. Start rebuilding my cavalry. Put them under siege. I don't want to attack them. I want to build. I need to. I need, okay, I need to be much more gradual in how I expand. So let's repair my privateer. Oh, just one sec, guys. The door is ringing. Well, actually, now's. Actually, yeah. Just one sec, guys. <laughs> Probably would have made more sense to just end the part, but whatever. Whew, I'm out of breath now. <laughs> running up and down the steps. Okie doke, let's pick up some farms to unlock the next level farm technologies. Make sure we get another fifth ray on the go. And then I think that's about everything. I've got 500 cash, but I'm going to actually, can I spend it on. No, you can't replenish. So I want to get government by consent, and I probably want to get something like Division of Labour to try getting new ports. But looking at the timer, I believe it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.